came up with the idea for Rusted On basically when I was working in retail. So I was working in a lot of different stores, different video shops and stuff like that because I was a real go-getter of a human. <laughs> <laughs> And there's so many funny interactions that happen with the staff, customers and people coming trying to return things that aren't broken, how quickly people can get rude, how people can see you in a, in a uniform and just automatically think that they're above you. So I took all that frustration and put into a script that I hope everybody in retail can relate to. I think we've all worked at a job that isn't our passion and we're just doing it for cash. So Robot Army, they thought, you know what, let's make a TV series that's funny and that everyone can relate to and that's what they've done here. No, don't go, let it, don't let it pass you by. This is my first experience with uh, Robot Army Productions and it is sensational. I'm particularly impressed with the way that they move from scene to scene and they've got a lot of efficiency and they really know their stuff. So once it was written, we put the call out online, basically saying, have you ever dealt with the hell that is retail? And we had nearly 600 people say, yes, I hate retail, I'm working it now, I'm trying to get my acting career off the ground, I'd love to be part of it. So then started days and days and days of, of getting people in, getting them to go through the lines, which was really exciting. It was so good to see you know, characters that I'd written being brought to life. So we finished up with probably about a group of 10 of just amazing actors that, that nailed the parts and that were just really fun to work with. Oh my god. Uh, today's been pretty shit. Uh, I hate the people. The script's awful. Oh, and the director's a piece of shit, <laughs> isn't he? And uh, some of the people that we work with. There's that guy called, that plays Brett. Who's that guy? Yeah, yeah, he's quite a twat. He's a, he's a twat bag, actually. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so what the fuck am I talking about again? <laughs> what more can I say? It's about this wonderful ragtag bunch of people working in that electro world. Uh, I'm one of their awesome gun salesmen slash sex bomb extraordinaire. It's, uh, it's a tough role, but someone's got to do it. No, it's pretty awesome. So we're currently right. filming. Hey, buddy, hello. Yeah, fuck off, we don't. Anyway. The next step was trying to find a location. We had all these amazing actors, we had a good script, there was a bit of height, but you know, we can't build a set, like that's just ridiculous. So I literally just walked into an electrical goods store and said, hi, can I film a show in here? Basically paying the shit out of your industry and the guys were pretty into it. So we had one day and we thought, let's just get as much done as we could. So, you know, the original plan was to shoot a few scenes, but um, once we saw the scenes back to back, we were just shy of having like a whole episode. So we contacted a few of the cast members and said, hey, look, we're this close to finishing off an actual full episode, how would you feel about coming back and jumping on and they jumped at it. Hi everyone, my name's Diana Broomin and I'm playing Bianca. Hi, I'm Susie Kasdor and I play Sarah. So the thing with the counter girls is, we like you unless you cross us. So be real, be upfront, maybe we'll like you, but if anyone tries to come at me, take my throne, mm -hmm. nah. We're really the heart of Electro World. So Robot Army is all about just getting shit done. So many people in this industry talk the talk, everybody's making a film, everybody's making a show. We're a small crew of dudes that just love what we do, working with a really amazing cast, and made it happen. We've shot a whole pilot in two days and getting it out there for everyone to enjoy. And someday, hopefully, making us rich. <laughs>